Yes, you can game at 200 frames per second on your MacBook Air. Hi guys, Thunder E here, and the title is not a mistake. You can do 200 frames per second gaming on your MacBook Air. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, that's right. Now think about it. The MacBook Air is not a gaming device. This is Apple's lightest and of course, most cost effective laptop uh, that does your day-to-day -day tasks. Does got a great battery life, like almost 10 hours. It's got a nice display, good audio. All that fun stuff is there, but it's not a gaming laptop. It doesn't have a gaming keyboard, it's really flat. Um, it also doesn't have the uh, dedicated GPU for gaming. All that kind of stuff that a traditional gaming laptop has, this doesn't have, but Yet, I did 200 frames per second gaming, playing Doom on the MacBook Air. How? Well, I use the GeForce Now beta. This is NVIDIA's new streaming service called GeForce Now, currently in beta, that allows you to stream your gameplay to your MacBook Air. You don't have to stream it from a PC at home. This is streaming from their own servers, and it doesn't use any of your uh, PC hardware or MacBook hardware, hardware to do the gaming, which is absolutely nuts. So you can do 200 frames per second gaming, like game like Doom, and you can see it run butter fast. I mean, super fast. Now, this was at 1080p resolution, which is of course not the native resolution of the MacBook Air, but it still ran very, 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 very smooth for not having the dedicated GPU, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, the GeForce Now uh, beta service is something that you can go ahead and download if you're part of the beta. Uh, you can play it on your Mac or your PC. Now, once you go ahead and log in, with your GeForce Now account, you are shown all the games available. So the games you can go ahead and play that are available in both on Steam and Battle.net. Now, if you decide to pick a game, in my case, Call of Duty, go ahead and click on that. It takes you into your Steam account, which is where it's available. At least that's where I have it. I sign in and then it tells me to install whatever game I wanna play. Now, once I click the install, that basically is almost telling it that, yeah, you have the game, we can go ahead and stream the game and voila. Boom. I'm talking about some really milky smooth Call of Duty gameplay sessions. It was fantastic going around playing. Yes, I died a lot, but still I was able to game and enjoy that experience. And that's what you get from this. And plus, my system wasn't plugged in. I had no power source coming in. So you don't have to actually be connected or plugged into a wall to game with the MacBook Air using GeForce Now. It's totally sick, I love it. I love the experience here. So even games like The Witcher 3, which are graphically intensive, the cutscenes can also dip. If you're checking out frame rates, ran really smooth on that. I love the fact that I could actually play that on the go. And then when I decided to max out the resolution, which of course Apple's numbers are really off, but you know, it's a max resolution here. Uh, you have the number on screen. This thing ran well. Playing Doom, I dropped down to 159 frames per second. Boo hoo, I'm serious, like think about it. 1080p, 200, max resolution on the MacBook Air. I'm doing 159. This thing was smooth, it was great. This is the future of gaming. The fact that I don't have to have an expensive gaming rig to do this, uh, I can go ahead and have a $200 gaming laptop. I can have something cheap. I could even have a Chromebook, think about that a Chromebook could eventually enter, excuse me, the gaming arena. Now, of course, probably once the system goes live, it will probably be a, a paid subscription service, but I can think of a bunch of people who will do that. So here's the question for you guys. Are you excited about this and would you pay for a game streaming service like this to use on your PC? Uh, let me know. If you have any other questions, I'll try and ask them for you. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And once you do, and if you're a subscriber, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. It's Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.